I was born in 1938. It was about to be terrible things. It was the end after the U.S. depression and with the, um, the clouds gathering toward war in Europe. Cooking. Oh, it's a collection of moments. It's uh, my marriage, uh, the birth of my children, the musical friendships that I've made. I have many happy moments in my life. I'd have to just narrow it down to two, and since I'm a cellist, I guess I'll say Pablo Casals and Gregor Pieterowski. I mean, they're just both astonishingly great, deep artists. Um, Pierre Gorski was my teacher and so my mentor, Casals I played for, and I just learned so much from their art. I try to keep people out of my cell phone. <laughs> well, I did attempt another profession before I became a professional musician, and that was mathematics. But I'm not interested in doing that anymore. Um, maybe a professional cook? Usually when I wake up in the morning, I have music going on in my head. And I think more and more as the years go on. So it can either be music that I've been working on and trying to learn, or have heard recently, but definitely, very commonly, music. Um, it's at least half full, and I'm trying to make it even fuller. I admire people who are searching for something and who don't give up the search. And that could be scientists or artists or people in any walk of life. I like people who seem to have a sense of where they want to go and believe in it. I think a lot of people have succeeded in my field in music. Uh, I don't I have never thought about trying to succeed. I've only thought about trying to do what I believe in. And if any success has come my way, it's come because maybe I did something good. But I was not after success. I suppose everybody's different, but I, I pity the people who are only interested in being successful. I think the secret to it all is to do what you love, to do what you believe in, and just go for it. And if you're lucky, people will reward you for that. Not everybody is lucky, but I guess the secret is being lucky. Well, you know, it's very hard to listen to recordings of yourself because you always say, why did I do that? But I've um, recently recorded all six box suites, and I can live with them. The future of classical music is what artists can do that interests people to hear. That as long as performers and composers understand that their job is to communicate something that they believe in to listeners and can do it compellingly, there's no problem. Uh, classical music may change, may change into something that will still be called classical music that t people today would not think is. So, but I have no worry for it. I think it's, it's on a good path and as long as people always remember, never forget to communicate, then I think it's fine.